Have you ever thought what exactly you are eating when you have an egg for breakfast? Is there a chicken in your breakfast egg? The answer is no. Most of the eggs available in the shops, there's no chicken and nothing that could grow into a chicken for the simple reason that the usual breakfast egg is an unfertilized ovum. The chick develops only from the fertilized egg. The male animal, that is the cock, produces sperms. The female bird, the hen, produces eggs. If mating occurs, the laid egg is called fertilized. If not, it is called an unfertilized egg. The egg from which the delicate embryo develops is surrounded by a hard, porous shell composed of calcium carbonate. Inside the shell is the albumin. The yolk ball is made up of concentric layers of yellow and white yolk. The nucleus is pushed to the periphery of the ovum to form the blastodisc. After fertilization, the ovum undergoes cleavage, that is, cell division, where cells, that is, blastomeres, keep on dividing. The central part around the cleaving blastoderm becomes transparent. This area is known as area pellucida. The area on the periphery is opaque and known as area opica. Usually, at this stage of development, the eggs are laid by the hen. For the developing embryo, maintenance of constant temperature and humidity are very important. One can study the developmental stages of chick by using incubation hours so might number and prominent characters at each stage of development. To study the above criteria, the incubated eggs are opened carefully by breaking the shell at different intervals. The developing embryo is separated from the other layers and yolk to determine its age. In the science of embryology, the development of an embryo within the shell is the most important aspect. The development of chick embryo inside the eggshell is a fascinating process. During six to seven hours of incubation, the primitive streak is under formation. Initially, it is short, thick and conical in shape. After 18 to 19 hours, 
incubation, the primitive streak reaches its maximum length. It has the parts of the primitive bit and primitive knot. As development progresses, blood islands are formed at the posterior half of the area opica closest to the area pellucida. On 20th hour of incubation, somites start appearing due to simultaneous regression of primitive steak. Every hour, one pair of somites is formed. The age of an embryo can be determined after knowing the somite numbers. For example, here there are seven pairs of somites, so the embryo is of 27 hours. In the 33 hours embryo, the paired heart tubes begin to fuse and the heart starts beating. In due course after 33 hours, the three brain vesicles, that is the forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain are demarcated and circulation begins between the area vasculosa and the embryo. After 36 hours of incubation, the blood vessels are very clear and are rich with blood supply. The embryo about 48 hours of incubation shows a striking difference in shape due to torsion and flexure. It bends at the midbrain region marking cranial flexure. This gives the embryo a P shape. Another flexure at the posterior region of the brain that makes cervical flexure. As a result, the embryo becomes C-shaped. At this stage of 56 hours incubation, the brain regions are more clear. The leg bud is flat and the tail bud is short and shows more vascular supply. Around 72 hours of incubation, the hind limb buds are larger than forelimb buds. The flexures are more prominent. The allantois is vascular in shape. On the fourth day, the embryo is differentiated into head, trunk and tail regions. The head region has a prominent pair of eyes. The wing and leg buds are larger than wide. The tail bud is separated from the hind limb buds. In a six day old embryo, occasional free movements are noted and the digits are formed. The toes are clear and separated by webs between them. The beak is clearly seen. The neck is lengthened 
and separates the head from other regions of the body. At the age of 10 days, the distal segments of wing and leg are much more clear and larger. Claws are found on the terminals of toes. Another important feature is the appearance of the comb primordium as a ridge along the midline of the beak. The eyelid is also visible at this stage. The nostrils appear at the proximal end of the beak and the feather germs are clear on the limb and other areas. After 10 days, Further development of chick, that is 14 to 18 days, is based mainly on two parameters. The length of the beak and the length of the third toe. As the development proceeds, the two parameters elevate in length. Afterwards, the average length of these parameters remain unchanged. On day 20, the body of the animal is heavier. As the chick begins breathing, the shell starts cracking. On the 21st day, the newly hatched chick emerges into the new world and makes one wonder at the delicacy and precision with which nature works. Aristotle's curiosity remains unanswered whether the hen came first or the egg. <laughs> 